All right, so this month we've been talking about a metabolic reset. We've talked about metabolism is the taking in of food or energy or uh, different things. We convert it, we transform it into energy or into something usable that can be used to build the body up. We've been talking a lot about building lately. And I'm reminded of this verse in Jude chapter 1, verses 20 through 21. It says, but you, beloved, building yourself up on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit, keep yourselves in the love of God, looking forward to the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ to eternal life. Now, this word, building yourself up, I looked up the original Greek of this word, and one of the definitions that was on there was building upon a foundation. We talked about how the Apostle Paul said, as a master builder, he laid a foundation by the grace God had given him. And we can build upon that foundation. We can build ourselves up. It's interesting. This word in the original Greek has implication of following a preset design. God's already designed what we're building. And we get to partner with him. We get to build together with him according to the design that he's already got for us in Christ. Praying in the Holy Spirit. So we're going to ask God to help us today. Help us to walk in this promise the way that he intends us to. Let's get started with our daily prayer. And then we'll get into our time of communion after that. Heavenly Father, I pray for everybody who's watching or listening. Their families, their friends, everybody connected to them. And all of our church and governmental leaders. And I thank you for releasing us from darkness and transferring us into the light into the kingdom of your dear son. I thank you for your purpose and grace given to us in Christ Jesus before time ever began. And that Jesus was struck down, he was smitten, bruised and pierced and crushed and destroyed. Also that you could be on our side, that you could be fighting for us. And Father, I keep asking that you, the Father of glory, would give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that we would know you more and more. That the eyes of our hearts will be enlightened to know the hope to which you've called us. And the riches of your glorious inheritance that is in us. And the immeasurable greatness of your power to us who believe. The same power that you exercised in Christ when you raised him from the dead. And you seated him at your right hand in heavenly places. Far above all rule and authority and power and dominion and every name that is named. Not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And you put all things under his feet and made him to be the head of the body. The fullness of him who fills all in all. And Father, I ask you to bless us. And to make your face shine upon us. Let us find grace and favor in your eyes. Expand our borders and our territory. Expand our capacity to receive everything you've given us in Christ. And to let it flow through us that we do good and are a blessing to people all over the world. Send us opportunities to do good and be a blessing today. And help us make the most of those opportunities. Keep your hand on us and help us do today what's right and best in your eyes. And do it with peace and joy and confidence in you. And we ask you to stretch out your hand to heal. And do signs and wonders and keep us from evil and pain. Through the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And Heavenly Father, we're asking for your help today. We're asking you to help us to understand, to teach us how to build ourselves up on our most holy faith by praying in the Holy Spirit so that we keep ourselves in your love. Help us to walk in this. Help us to apply this the way that you intended us to. And we thank you the night Jesus was betrayed. He took the bread and he said, this is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. I'm just so grateful that we get this opportunity today to remember that we've been made one with you through the sacrifice of Jesus. 
And so I thank you for this bread and ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. Let's go ahead and take our bread. Then after supper, Jesus took the cup. And he said, this is the cup of the new covenant. In my blood poured out for the forgiveness of sins for many. I just thank you that we get to have a covenant relationship with you, Father. Let's go and take our juice. All right, building yourselves up. Let's talk about some practical application into our health and fitness. One of the things I always think about when I think about this verse is like recharging your batteries, building your energy up on the inside of you. One of the best ways I know how to do that is actually through music. You find a song, some song that you like to listen to, preferably an upbeat one, and you put that song on repeat for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. And it's amazing. Your body begins to entrain with the rhythm of that music. I like to also pray in the spirit while I'm doing it. It's amazing how much it transforms your energy, builds up your energy within your body. But keep remembering God is with you. He loves you and nothing is impossible for him.